The machine is an information lossless machine. If on given the initial state, the final state and the output stream, we can determine uniquely the input stream. A machine is said to be information lossless of order mu if the knowledge of the initial state and the first mu output symbols are sufficient to determine uniquely the first input symbol. That means on given the mu output symbols, mu numbers of output symbols and the initial state, we can uniquely determine the first input symbol. Then we say that it is information lossless machine of order mu. That means, first of all, what we need is the initial state, the final state and the output stream. On given these three inputs, these three, we, as, we can determine the input stream of information lossless machine uniquely. And the order mu is that if we are given this initial state and mu number of output stream, we can determine the first input symbol. Now how to check whether a given machine is information lossless or not? We can do it by using a testing table and testing graph. If this is the machine, then we need to check whether this machine is information lossless or not by using a testing table and testing graph. We can develop the testing table in this way. This is the testing table contains two halves as we know that the upper half and the lower half. The upper half contains the states as given in the machine. So this is the machine that we are given and we need to test whether this machine is information lossless or not. So this is the upper half of the machine. The columns of the uh, testing table are according to the output symbols. If there are n numbers of output symbols, then there should be n numbers of columns. Now there are actually two output symbols, 1 and 0. So we should have two columns, one corresponding to 1 and one corresponding to 0. So we have this z is equal to 0. That's for output 0 and z is equal to 1. So now for z is equal to 0, you need to check here in this way that which particular for A, if it is giving any output 0 for any state transition or not. For input x is equal to 0, it is giving 1. For input x is equal to 1, it is giving, giving 1. So none of the state transition from A is giving 0 as the output. So it's 1 and 1. So for 0, it should be it should be left as blank for one we are having these two states c and d okay for b we again see that it is producing one in both the cases for zero input it is going to a and it producing one as the output for one it is going to b and producing one as the output so for zero it is zero output is not produced by any state transition from b and it is producing a b for output 1 it is going to states a b and producing output 1 so under the column z is equal to 1 a b should be there now for c we are observing that here both the transitions are producing zeros c to c for input 0 we are going to b and producing 0 for input 1 we are going to a and producing 0 so it should be a b here because both the state transitions are producing zero as output and nothing is here. Again, D is also producing zero in both the cases, transmitting to C and D, and nothing here as output one. So this is the upper half of the testing table that we get. Now we need to develop the lower half of the lower part of the testing table. Now the lower part of the testing table contains the combination of the pairs of states in the upper part of the upper part that means first should be a b then it should be a c then a d there should be six then b c then comes b d and then c d so there are six pairs of combinations of these states from these four individual states now we need to combine this in order to find out the lower part of the testing table for z is equal to 0 we see that 
nothing is here nothing is here so it should be left blank for a b for z is equal to 1 it is c d and a b so it should be combined each state should be combined with the other of the with the other of the other pair so there should be four combinations here there should be four combinations here a with c a with d and b with c and b with d so com combine each of the state in the pair with each of the other state of the other pair that means a should be combined with c that we, then we get a c here and a is combined with d we get a d here then b is combined with c we get b c here then d is combined with b we get b d here write the earlier alphabet first then a c for a c what we get a b is here and nothing is here so it should be it should be left as blank it should be left as blank for a c here it is blank and it is c d so it should be left as blank for a d uh, a d it's blank and blank for b c for b c we see that it is blank a b with blank a b with blank so nothing should be there for b d again it's blank for c d what we have here is c d a should be combined with c a should be combined with d so a c a d and then we have b should be combined b combined with c b c and b d now here we have nothing c d here we have nothing so this is the lower part of the testing table now using this lower part information we need to develop the testing graph now if the one thing here by using the information that we have obtained in the lower part of the testing table we can determine whether the given machine is information lossless or not if the lower part of the testing table does not contain any repeating states then you can conclude that it is an information lossless machine now we see that in the given example for the given example the lower part here we do not find any combination of states with the same thing that means we do not have something like this a a or b b something like this in the lower part if the lower part of the testing table contains something like this then the machine is not information lossless table now since our example producing a lower part of the testing table that does not contain any repeating states in a set that means a a or b b or c c so we conclude that this machine is information lossless machine now in order to find out the order of the information lossless machine we must obtain the testing graph so again if that uh, if we can go further with the testing graph and if the testing graph contains no loops then it is obviously information lossless machine and the order mu is actually the longest path plus two so we need to develop the testing graph in order to find out whether what is the mu the order of information losslessness a b so each of these combination of states in the lower part should be a and r uh, should be a vertex in the graph so a b a c a d b c then we have this b d then we have this c d so there are six vertices and we need to draw the graph between these vertices now the arc from now the arc from one particular vertex to other particular vertex is decided in the same way as we did in case of the other others so a b implies a c a d b c and b d so there should be an arc from outgoing arc from a b to a c a b to a d a b to b c and a b to b d so a b to a c should be one arc because a b implies a c and a b implies a d so a b to a d should be another graph another arc a b to b c should be another one a b to b d should be another one then we have this c d to a c so c d to a c is another graph i'm just using another color that will be helpful in order to get the information clearly so c d to a c is another one 
CD to AD is another one, another arc. CD to BC is another arc. And CD to BD is the fourth one. So from this testing graph, what we see that the testing graph contains no loops, it is loop free. So obviously it is information lossless. And the longest path of this testing graph is one. CD to AC or CD to AD or AB to AC, whatever you, whatever the way you choose, take whatever the way you choose, you can find the longest path as one. So the order of the information losslessness for this machine is actually one plus two, it is three. So this is how we can determine whether a given machine is information lossless or not. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find out the input string on given the output string and the initial state for a, a information lossless machine now in that case we will be first we will first determine whether the given machine is information lossless or not if it is information lossless then only you can determine the input string on given the output string thank you very much and watch watch the next tutorial for uh, for for determining the input string on given the output string thank you very much